Today is Veterans Day, and you think you know what Veterans Day is all about, but maybe you don't. That's what we're talking about on this episode of the Driving with Rob podcast. Everything you ever wanted to know about Veterans Day, but were afraid to ask. That's what we're going to be talking about for at least a little while, because today is Veterans Day. Today is November the 11th. Originally, Veterans Day was called Armistice Day. And here's the reason. It was to remember the end of World War I. World War I didn't officially come to an end until the Treaty of Versailles was signed in June of 1919. But all sides agreed to lay down arms and to cease fire and stop fighting, effectively an armistice in the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And, of course, back in those days, World War I was called the war to end all wars. We know it didn't, but that's what they thought back then, or what they hoped for anyway. But the reason it's always on November 11th is because that's when both sides, or all sides, agreed to lay down their arms and stop the fighting, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. November the 11th. And a day was set aside to remember Armistice Day. Not just in the United States, but pretty much all the countries that were involved in World War I have some type of a remembrance on the same day of, or this same time. Well, as I said, World War I was called the war to end all wars because there were so many countries fighting and so many thousands and tens of thousands of people who died fighting this war. Surely, this would teach mankind a lesson, and there would never be another war like this. Then World War II happened. Then the Korean War happened. So as a commemoration, to remember the veterans, the people who actually fought in the war. The holiday was kind of changed to be a commemoration of the servicemen and women who fought rather than just commemorating the end of World War I. So it was only after the Korean War in the 1950s that the name of the holiday changed from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. And I used to work with this guy named Bob. And Bob was a veteran. And Bob was a really good welder, and that's where he learned how to be a welder, was in the military. Well, it just so happened this place where we worked... We were fortunate enough that this company had a cafeteria, and they actually had a cafeteria staff. They didn't cook for third shift, but they cooked for first and second shift, and you could actually go get a hot meal in this cafeteria, which was actually a pretty cool perk. If you've ever worked in a place that didn't have a cafeteria, having a cafeteria is is a big deal. And if you are fortunate enough to work for a place that has a cafeteria, I hope you don't take that for granted. Because most places don't. But what the cafeteria did on Veterans Day was they honored the veterans. If you were a war veteran, on Veterans Day they had a special meal and veterans ate for free. Well, Bob was a welder. Bob didn't work in our department. But Bob usually ate supper with us. I was on second shift, so we called it supper. So Bob usually ate with the maintenance guys. Well, I remember seeing Bob earlier that day, and we talked for a little bit. And as I was walking away, I said, I'll see you at supper. He said, I'm going to the cafeteria for supper because we had a microwave and a refrigerator and everything in a maintenance shop. So we just ate in the maintenance shop. We had a little break area in the maintenance shop. So that's where the maintenance guys ate and Bob. And Bob said, no, today I'm going to the cafeteria because today is Veterans Day and the cafeteria feeds you for free. On Veterans Day. And I said, wow, that's that's pretty cool. I said, Bob, I don't think I knew that you were a veteran. And Bob said, yeah, I was in the Navy. And see, Bob was a little older than me. Probably, he was in actuality probably only maybe 15 years older than me, but old enough. So I said, yeah, Bob, I didn't realize that you'd served in the military. And he said, yeah. And I said, you fight for the North or the South? And Bob just laughed, but that's 
the camaraderie of maintenance men and welders. You have to insult each other and give each other crap, or they think you don't like them. But my friend Bob got his free meal on Veterans Day, and, and that was pretty cool. And I thought it was a cool thing for the company to do to give veterans a free meal on Veterans Day. And see, we talked about it at work, but we didn't really go into detail about it. But I remembered when I was a kid that Veterans Day was in October, that it wasn't always in November. And I actually didn't realize it until I did some research into it, that it was because of the World War I armistice, when it was Armistice Day, 11th hour, 11th day, 11th month was when all the forces agreed to lay down their arms. That's why it's November 11th. But I got to studying, and sure enough, in the 70s, Veterans Day was in October. Because somebody decided, Congress decided, that a better day, since this was a federal holiday, a federally recognized holiday, for convenience purposes, let's have it on the 4th Monday in October. Because they said Mondays for federal holidays was always a better day to celebrate a holiday. And if you're going to give all these people, union workers and and government workers, a day off on Veterans Day, let's have it on a Monday. Because they believed, you know, give everybody a three-day weekend. That would encourage people to go on vacation, to go places, and go spend money. It was supposed to be an economic boost to move the holiday to a Monday. And they voted that sometime in the 70s that Veterans Day would be recognized on the fourth Monday in October. So for a number of years, Veterans Day was in October because, remember, they had changed it to Veterans Day instead of a Armistice Remembrance Day. And that way we could honor the veterans who fought in World War II and Korea and World War I so that all the veterans could be recognized. And after a number of years, somebody finally came to their senses and said, you know what? Veterans Day was originally November 11th. No matter what day of the week it fell on, let's make it November 11th. So sometime in the late 70s, it went back to its original date of November 11th, no matter what day of the week it fell on. And it's also interesting because it was the World War I commemoration was when it originally started. The Canadians and the Australians also recognize November 11th because they had troops too. But in Canada and Australia, they call it Remembrance Day. And the Canadians, you know, even though uh, they call it Remembrance Day, it's very similar to the United States Veterans Day where they recognize the veterans who fought in, in previous wars. But Veterans Day is really to honor the ones who are still alive, who are veterans, who actually fought in wars. Memorial Day is the day that we typically set aside to honor those servicemen who have passed away, to memorialize, if you will. So Memorial Day is more of a remembrance of those who have passed away, whereas Veterans Day is really to honor the armed forces veterans who are still alive today. But they said in Australia, they kind of, uh, kind of treat it like a Memorial Day, where they, where they honor the veterans living or dead. And the Brits in the UK also call it Remembrance Day, but they celebrate it on the Sunday that's the closest to November 11th. Because in Britain, they like to have parades and big things and all this stuff on Sundays. And in Britain, on their Remembrance Day, they have two minutes of silence, at least in London, and I'm sure several cities uh, in the UK do the same thing, but they observe two minutes of silence where all the cars, all the planes, all the people stop for two minutes to remember the veterans. But in the UK, it's kind of treated like a, like a Memorial Day also, where they honor all the veterans, living or dead. But that's Veterans Day in a nutshell. Everything you thought you knew about Veterans Day. Oh, one more thing. I would be remiss as the husband of an English teacher to not point this out to you as well. When you write the words Veterans Day, 
It's not apostrophe S. It's not a day that belongs to veterans. It is to honor veterans, plural, more than one veteran. So don't put an apostrophe before the S in Veterans Day. And also, it's not veterans, it's veterans. Veterans Day. So, November the 11th, Happy Veterans Day to all those who have served in our armed services. Our hats are off to you and we salute you. And God bless the United States of America. And that's the podcast on Veterans Day. I learned something from it because I had to do some research myself. I'm hoping that you learned something from it so you understand why we have Veterans Day and what it all means. But thanks for listening. Thanks for downloading. If you're a first-time listener, please click on subscribe or follow whatever it is your podcast player allows you to do. Because once you become a subscriber, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but you'll get a notification every time I upload a new episode just to let you know that there is a new one. And if you would do that for me, I would really appreciate it. Click on like on your podcast player. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share it wherever it is you share stuff. And you can tell all your friends that the Driving with Rob podcast is available on Google Podcast, Spotify, iTunes. Wherever you listen to podcasts, it is available where you are. I'm pretty much everywhere at this point. Thanks again. I appreciate you listening. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye now. Bye now.